Welcome. This is Postgres SQL for MySQL DBAs. My name is Dave Stokes. I'm a technology evangelist for Percona. This is episode three, backups and restorations. You need to back up your data. And if you don't know how to restore it, it's not much use to do the backups. But if you want to ensure the integrity of your data, you need to be able to back it up. And we're going to walk through a real quick backup. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to back up a database, examine that backup, create a new database, and copy everything from that first database into the second. The tool we're going to use today is called PG underscore backup. Now, there are lots of backup tools out there, but this is the kind of most basic generic one, kind of equivalent to a MySQL dump. So we're going to create the backup using PG dump. And we do that by typing in PG underscore dump. The name of the database we want to save, and use the greater than symbol to pipe that into a file called backup.sql. Now, for the uh, folks who really need the details, PG dump is the name of the program. DVD rental is the name of the database to be backed up. And we're putting that all into a file called backup.sql. So, if you take a look at that output, when you run it, you will see that it's a bunch of SQL commands. Now, the restoration is also fairly easy. Uh, so we have to first create a place to put the data. What we're going to do is we're going to, from the Linux uh, command prompt, we're going to use sudo to become the user Postgres. Once we're the user Postgres, we run the command psql, the command line interface. And in there, we type in create database new dvd to get out of psql type in backslash q and then control d to get out of being the user postgres restoration is very straightforward post psql whoops psql minus d for the name of the database we're dumping the data into and we say the contents are found in a file called backup.sql now the following video will show all these steps. Okay, to make the backup, we're gonna use PG dump, PG underscore dump. We then specify the name of the database to dump, DVD rental in this case. And then we're gonna pipe that into a file called backup.sql. And if we take a look at that file, you'll see that it is truly SQL. Now from here, we have to create the new database and run sudo to become the Postgres user. And from there, I run PSQL. Eight. Database. New DVD. slash Q to quit and control D to get out of the Postgres account. And from here to do the restoration, it's real simple. Run PSQL and we're going to place the, the, the file we restored into the new DVD database. That's why we have the minus D. And then we say the file is backup.sql. And it creates a file. So we're in P, P, PSQL new dvd slash dt there are the tables we copied over from the dvd rental directory and that's all there is for doing a simple backup and a simple restore so next time we'll come back and we'll work more with the dvd rental database thank you for looking at this episode on using backups and restorations thank you